the dark, dark street, there's a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there are dark, dark stairs. Down the dark, dark stairs, there's a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, you'd find the question writers for this show. Welcome to Only Connect. Yes, our question writers skulk in the depths, hatching their plots, constantly shrieking for fresh meat. It can be hard to keep them sated, so on this occasion we've gone back to our semi-finals and invited our unlucky losers to return for a third-place playoff. They're here to clinch the all-important bronze. On my right, the Alesman. Chris Quinn, a computer programmer with a passion for scuba diving, whose greatest ambition is to swim with sharks. Graham Barker, a dentist and Rotary Club member who enjoys photography and cooking. And their captain, Mark Kerr, a chartered surveyor with a love of film noir. Mark, the Ellsman were just pipped to the post by the radio addicts mm. to make the final. How do you feel about this playoff? Um, well, it's a bit of fun now, isn't it? doesn't really matter. And uh, it's, it's obviously the object is to not to be the losers of the losers. It's a bit of fun. One of your team hopes to swim with sharks. And this is that opportunity. <laughs> Your opponents tonight are The Wrights. Pete Wright, an IT specialist who loves Christopher Brookmeyer novels. Rosa Wright, a gap year student and amateur thespian who enjoys listening to punk music. And their captain, Liz Wright, a politics graduate and rugby league fan with a passion for science fiction. They're a family team from Leeds. They are The Wrights. Liz, you and Pete have been married for 35 years. How has the Only Connect experience tested that relationship? Um, well, I've always been amazed at the sort of stuff he comes out with, and um, I just wish he'd come out with a bit more, really, but uh, there you go. Well, we're giving him the chance to come out with a bit more. It's a whole extra quiz. Good luck fighting for that key third place. In round one, these teams will remember, I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Ailesman, you won the toss. It seems you always do. Once again, it is your turn to please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Well, we've got a cunning change of strategy here, and we're reformed characters. We're going for water. You're choosing the water? Yes, we are. Are you all right? No, we're not. <laughs> Goodness me. Well, a worrying moment for the quiz. I hope it works out for you. Water is going to be your question, and the first clue is coming up now. I'm going to assess New York. Is that uh, actually a naval ship, or is it some other kind of ship? I don't know. Is that the... Um... The aircraft carrier that's on display in New York Harbor. Should we know. get the next one? Yeah, let's go for the next one. Next, please. Plants of I don't know that at all. Obviously, it's in Venice, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go for the next one? Underwater. Oh, it could be, yeah. Oh, it could be. Should we go for the next one? Yeah, go for the next one. Next, please. US President. That's made from, ship, isn't it? Made, made from a, a British Arctic ship. Um, so, what are we going to say then? Ship. Maybe British. British uh, Should we go for the next one? Next, please. Three seconds. They're all uh, made out of uh, ships. I'm afraid they are not all made out of ships. So there's a possible bonus for you, Wrights. Um, is it something to do with... Uh, they've all been underwater. One's a submarine, one's... The US President's desk. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That's well, the ship. in a way, the US President's desk has been underwater, but they haven't all... One of them is made out of a ship, the American president's desk, made out of the timbers of HMS Resolute. But the connection is they're all made from recycled materials. The USS New York, made out of parts of the World Trade Center after it came down. The Palazzo Venezia, made from marble taken from parts of the Colosseum. Ah. And Breakdown is an artwork where the artist Landy made it out of his own possessions, reduced to dust. They're all made from recycled or repurposed materials. Right, your turn to pick a question. Uh, we'll have the Horned Viper. The Horned Viper? Ah, it's the music question. You'll be hearing your clues. The first one starting now. Wake up, it's a beautiful no, one of... No, no, who is it? Boo Radley. The Boo Radleys did this. Oh, it was next. a theme tune to The Big Breakfast. That's Moby. Are they all named after... Are all the artists named after book characters? Oh, I think they are. Yeah. We think... They're ba the, all the artists, uh, the songs are named after... No, all the artists. artists are named after book characters. Boo Radley's in To Kill a Mockingbird and Moby is in Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. You are right in your thinking. Three points for coming in after two clues. They are artists named after literary characters. We would have heard from the Thompson Twins, uh, they're Tintin. from Tintin, of course, and Artful Dodger from Oliver Twist. 
Very well done. And it's back to you, Ailesman, to pick a question. Twisted flax. Twisted flax. First clue coming up now. Liberty. Next, please. Botticelli, Cyprus, Redhead. Is that I Liberty, then not one Liberty? Yeah. Don't know, shall we have to yeah, go to the next one? Next, yeah. please. Oh, hey, look, that's a that's um, JK Rowling. Ten seconds. She's also a Redhead, I don't know. Next, please. Oh, these are three yeah. seconds. Fictional, yeah. fictional authors, aren't they? And they've all, they're all um, works by fictional authors. Try again, give me a little bit more. Um, Dave. Oh, I know, they, they were books that were written having been mentioned. They were non existent when they first mentioned, and then they were written afterwards to fulfil that. That's what it is. Yes. You are absolutely right. Fictional books by fictional authors that were later published in their own right. Mm. Venus on the Half Shell is in the works of Kurt Vonnegut. Tales of Beetle the Bard is the, the children's book inside the Harry Potter stories. Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley from the old advert came out as a book. And do you know what I Libertine is? No. No, it's not by Robert Graves, is it? <laughs> no, th this was a radio hoax in the 1950s. There was a DJ, Shepherd, his name was, who oh. he disapproved of the way the bestseller lists were compiled. Part of making a bestseller involved books that members of the public had gone into bookshops and asked for, right. and that was factored in, and this DJ disapproved. So he urged his listeners, he invented a book and urged his listeners to go into bookshops That's and ask for it to see if you could get a fake book onto the bestseller list. And it was published later. So they are all books that were imaginary but are no longer. Right, over to you to choose a question. Uh, Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. Your first clue is coming up now. Eighteen or nine? Emperor, I'm not sure. Uh, next. Is this when they self proclaimed diplomat? Is this when they self proclaimed Yeah. Next one. Okay, next. Uh, next. Is that when he came to the throne? Is it? Or is it when he got the first one? Is that when he created the CV? Find the queen, see the other one. Oh, right, should we go for next? Next. This is when they crowned themselves head of Ten churches. Ten seconds. Yeah. 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 Okay. They all declared themselves heads of churches. I'm afraid they did not all do that, so there's a possible bonus for the Aylesman. So we're going to go for a second. I'll take on. Yeah. Um, they, that was, the dates were the years in which they took their second uh, wife. Uh, no, that's, <laughs> that's not it either. Although it's possible that doing either of the things you mentioned might have led to the real answer. It's the years they were excommunicated from the Catholic Church. Ah, oh. Excommunications. Ailesman, mm -hmm. please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion. Lion. Your first clue is going to come up. What's the connection starting now? No, I don't. It doesn't read any. It's not any tool. The imaginary dish. Yeah. 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 Next. Next, please. Salads. Oh, yeah. Potato salad. Potatoes, right? mm. Omelette salad? I don't know. Mm. Very good. Ne next, please. <laughs> yeah, they're not salad, then, are they? No. <laughs> Man, we I have to get the fourth one, I think, don't you? Yeah. 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 Next, please. Ten seconds. Oh, that's what you say when you take the photo. Oh, yeah. These are all the words that photographers ask the subjects to say when they're posing for a photograph. So that nice is smile. exactly it. <laughs> English cheese, of course. French uh, marmoset, the French word is wheezy titi. All right. <laughs> Spanish potato. Omelette doesn't sound like a word that would make you smile, but in Swedish it is, of course, omelette. <laughs> which I think explains the films of Bergman, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. They're all trying to grin, but they all just said omelette. And that leaves two reads for you, rights. These are going to be picture clues, and the first one is coming up now. Oh, I can't think who that is. Can you think of it? It's not Christmas brochure. Uh, next. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can't think who that is either. Next. We go next. OK, next. J.P.R. Williams. J.P.R. Williams. Are the others initial type Doctors. people? Doctors. Do you think they're all right? Try the try one. Do you want to go for it? Do you want the next one? Try next. the next one. Uh, next. Who's that? Who's that? It's not helped me at all. <laughs> no. Do you still want to go with what you I said? J.P.R. So. Williams? Yeah. It's definitely Doctors or initials? Doctors. Five seconds. Uh, we think they're all doctors. 
I'm afraid they are not all doctors. Uh, one of them particularly really isn't a doctor. Okay. There's a possible bonus for you, Ailsman. They are all people who are known by three initials, so AJP Taylor, JPR Williams, JRR Tolkien, and the other bloke, who is <laughs> ANN Other. In the second picture, you're looking at the painter, JMW Turner. Completely oh, right. correct three initials. The uh, historian, AJP Taylor, the Welsh rugby legend, JPR Williams, Tolkien and Turner. So you get the bonus, and at the end of round one, the Wrights have got three points. The Alesmen also have three points. Into round two, the sequences round. This time my question is not what connects these clues, but what is the fourth clue in a sequence? Ailesman, you'll be going first again, so please select your strange swiggle. Two reads, please. Two reads. First in a sequence coming up, what is fourth? Time starts now. Oh, this is... Um, 66. 66. 66. Yeah. No, no, it's not... It's, it's um, Rocking USA. Surfing USA. Oh, no. Um, should we get the next one? Yeah. Next, please. Yeah. What's the next one? Louisiana? Yeah. Uh, no, because it could ever be a little St. Louis down to New Orleans, so it's just not that. Yeah. Should we go for the next one? Yeah, go Ten on. seconds. Next, please. <sighs> Any ideas? Three seconds. New Orleans. OK. New Orleans. I'm afraid it isn't. So there's a possible bonus chance for you, Wrights. Um, I'm afraid you can't have a long tells. chat. Save uh, it for New Christmas. New York. New York is not correct either. The connection is, which I think perhaps you knew, there are locations in the song Dancing in the Street. Oh. Oh. No, song. wrong song. Oh, wrong, wrong Jeff song. Berry and the Dancing Beach Boys. in the Street, originally recorded by Martha and the Vandellas, is a famous cover by David Bowie and Mick Jagger. Next along would be Motor City places where people are dancing in that song. So no points there, and right, it is your turn to choose. Uh, we'll have water, please. Water. Your first in a sequence is coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. Six, seven, five. Does it mean anything to you at all? Um, next. Seven, five, ten, eight, seven. Oh, eight, seven. Turn them upside down. Mind with that. Uh, next. Six. These are dates of kings, aren't they? But I can't think which one. Uh, who's next? Then? Oh, so it'll be the next. Um, gosh, what will it be? Ah, uh, is that Edward? Ten seconds. Fourteen eighty-five. For what reason? Uh, I think it's when particular reigns uh, ended, perhaps. So that's when the Plantagenets ended. I'm afraid you've skittered down the wrong path like a distracted greyhound. I must pass it over to the Alesman for a possible bonus. We don't know, really. I think 1087 was the Doomsday book. It well, doesn't really help me very much, so... No, you are looking at here successive years when St Paul's caught fire. <laughs> and the next time... <laughs> the next time would be during the Great Fire of London <laughs> in 1666. That is it. St Paul's <laughs> catching fire. OK, well, we're not catching fire in this round. We need some points. Ailesman, your turn to have a go. Horn Viper, please. OK. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? First one coming up now. No idea. No meaning. I don't recognise him at all. Next, please. That's Max. Max. Malcolm X. Would it be WX, Y and Z or something? Yeah. Should we go for the next one? Next, please. What's that? It's at the uh, Austin 7 or something. Yeah. It sounds like something. It looks like it, yeah. So what's the clues then between Mark and Max? Ten seconds. It was little. It was little. It's not Morris, is it? Morris. What would it be? It's not for you. X. Um, I don't know why I buzzed, really. I can't think of any answer whatsoever. Well, it was nice to have that chat. Yeah. <laughs> and we're over for a possible bonus to the rights. Beginning with Z. Um, something beginning with Z. I'm afraid I can't give it to you. This is the crucial third-place playoff, and it's just not exact enough. I think you've got an idea of the connection from seeing Malcolm X and the Ford Model Y. We want someone whose name ends with a Z. The only one we could think of was Jay-Z, the rapper. It's not about beginning with a Z, and it's... 
Probably no wonder you didn't recognise that first person, Ailsman. It's the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, Bill W. I wish I'd followed his principles last night. So no points there, and we're back to the rights to pick a question. Uh, we'll have Lion. Lion. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. I think it was DUP. DUP? Anybody? Does it direct me up? <laughs> OK, next. <laughs> East is. This isn't a foreign language or something, is it? Wow. So it's directly it's... up. Adjacent path. East. Uh, next. South equals. It's, it's so uh, something West. something Democratic West. Labour Party, isn't it? It's, it's to do with um, you... Northern Ireland politics. So where's the, where's the West? Ten seconds. U West Democratic equals... Unionists. However that is. STLP. Is it's it it's got Three yeah. seconds. We think it's a Northern Irish political party it's that's got West, West in the name. It's West. Sinn Féin. Yeah. West equals Sinn Féin. Or SN, uh, SFP. As I hope my mother says to herself sometimes, lucky you've got your daughter there to help out. You nearly fell foul again of not being correct enough. It's not West in the name. It is West equals SF or Sinn Féin, parties that won seats in the 2010 election in Belfast, North, East, South and West Belfast, won by Gerry Adams for Sinn Féin. So this time you get the points. Back to you, Ailesman. Pick a question. I have Horus. I have Horus first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Tinium is the, it's the first alphabetic element in the periodic table. So it'll be... Well, so we just get the next one in case it's not here. Let's try working out the boring. Burying. Will it be? Will it be? Yes. It could be. It could be. There's Antony. Antony. I think we need the second one to see what... Yeah, go on. So next, please. Oh, yeah, it's the A, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so alphabetically... Antony's S.P. A.M. Yes, A.M. A.M. Yeah, A.M. Yeah. What's A.M.? Five seconds. What was it asked? A.S. 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 Argon. A.R. A.R. I'm afraid that is not the connection, so I have to show the third clue to the rights. Is there an A? Yeah. No, Go that's too A long. A I... no. Nope. They are elements in the periodic table. If you wrote out all the elements in alphabetical order, it would be the order of their symbols. Next would be antimony, which is oddly SB. I can see you all thinking, you were thinking alphabetical order for the symbols, but of course, that wouldn't be a sequence because you need AG for silver. You know, that doesn't make the correct sequence, so that's not it. It's the full names alphabetically. What a nasty question. OK, right, it is your turn and it will be the Twisted Flax for you. First in a sequence, coming up now. Saint-Denis. Mm. Saint-Denis, it's a place in Paris, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, next. Under Bell Station. Okay. No. no. Are these sizes of stations? Why no. oh, do you think that's a station as well? I think there might be. Yeah, do you think? Do you want to go yeah. for the next one? Oh, next. next. Berlin Station, so... We think they are. One. Well, what would be the next big one? Next biggest. Berlin. Or the next one. Unless it's going unless, unless Japan, it, Berlin. Is it the one in Amsterdam? Which do you know what that's called? There's a train station. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. What do you think of one then? Should we go for Paddington? Mm. We'll go for Paddington. For what reason? Uh, we think it's the next biggest train station. <laughs> Once again, I'm afraid a cat on the other side of the rail has distracted the greyhound. You're off in the wrong direction, but I think the Aylesman had an idea after two clues. Yeah, it's World Cup final uh, venue. So Stade de France, which held the 98 World Cup final, is in Saint-Denis. Uh, Yokohama was where the 2002 final was, was held. And Berlin was the 2006, so it's 2010 would be Johannesburg. Johannesburg, the location of the most recent World Cup final. That is the connection and the answer. Well done for the bonus. And that means, at the end of round two, the Aylesmen have got four points, but the rights are ahead with five. <music> round three is, of course, the connecting wall. Sixteen clues to be sorted neatly into four connected groups of four. Right, it's going to be your turn to go first this time. Your first decision, would you like the lion or the water? Uh, we'll have the water, please. The water wall. You've got two and a half minutes to sort this out. Points for the groups, points for the connections. Time starts now. Ginger Chalky. Mates of, of um, Jack that, William. Are they? Either that or it's Biggles, um, isn't it? Um, no. Spudgun. 
Spud gun, triad, white gun, plastic gun. Um, a triad's a Chinese gangster. Pontoon's another name for blackjack. Um, bridge, did... beam, arch, bridge, pontoon. Right. Beam and pontoon. No. But no. no. Swing bridge. Okay. Swing. Oh. oh swing, swing, pontoon. Pontoon. So suspension and beam. So beam swing. Suspension. No. no. Okay, that's signal that Enough. Dusty Springfield. Um, no. Well, no. It's Dusty Chalky. Uh, dusty it's Chalky Nobby. Yeah. Some bean. Yeah, I think it is that. Dusty, dusty Chalky Nobby. And ginger. Ginger. No. no. Spud then. Laser, ble laser Spud. bean. Spud. Nobby. Nobby. Chalky. Ginger. 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 Oh. No. Chalky, Dusty, Nobby, Spud. You've used one. Oh, oh yes. Go. Okay. Okay. Uh, wheat germ. Wheat sheaf. Um, ginger Bridge root, wood. wheat root. Beers. Root beer, wheat ginger beer, beer root beer, beer, wheat beer, beer. white beer. Light beer. Okay. Then we've got the bridges again. Yeah. We have three Swing. lives now with two groups gone. Okay. So what's the other one going to be? Beam cadence. Beam cadence. The beam and cadence. Triad cadence. Interval. And interval Go for them. Musical terms. Yeah. Okay. And Swing. Swing. No. no. You've got a minute left and Triad, two lives. Cadence, interval. So, bridges. Well, pontoon, suspension. Oh, oh suspension. suspension. There you are. Hey. You solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four points. Can you get another four for the connections? Chalky, Spud, Dusty, Nobby. They're members of the Just William gang, is it? Or, or Spiggles? They're somebody's psychic, but I oh. can't remember who. Oh, right. We'll go for Just William. No, they are military or naval nicknames for people with particular surnames. Yeah. Oh, Chalky White, right. Spud if your surname was Murphy, Dusty Miller, Miller if you're called Miller. Nobby Clark. And Nobby Clark. Yeah. Military right. nicknames, those are. Uh. Next category, ginger, wheat, white, root. They can all be types of beer. So types beer. of beer, simple as that. Triad, suspension, interval, cadence. They're uh, in music, they're musical, musical terms. terms. Well, I'll take it because they are all musical terms here. They're actually terms from musical harmony. Oh, right. uh, but that is a connection. They're all musical terms. You can have that. Swing, arch, beam, pontoon. Four types of bridges. Types of bridge, that's it. So you get four points for the groups you found and three points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Time to bring back the Alesmen and see what they can make of the Lion Wall. 16 new clues which need sorting into four connected groups or four. You've done this before, Alesmen. You know how it works. You've got two and a half minutes. Points available for connections and groups. The clues will be coming up now. Trojan horse. That could be a, a yeah. computer book, couldn't it? Worm. Yeah, virus, Trojan horse, uh, key logger. Yeah. 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 Uh, Beals, but devil. Devil. The devil. Yeah. Or flying. Um, Fandango book dance. Fly? Oh, um, Bohemian Rhapsody. What? Fandango. Fandango. Beals, but. Uh, yeah. Galileo. Yeah. Ball boy, hoagie, torpedo, so and submarine are types of sandwiches. So that would be clockwise, climax, Paris, and neutrino. What are they then? Yeah, uh, I don't know, but let's try the sandwiches. Remember, oh. you've got three lives yeah. only. Should we? Yeah, but we need to know what the other ones yeah. are. We've got time. Anti-climax, anti-Christ, anti-clockwise, anti anti-neutrino. Anti anti yeah. 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 That's it. You've solved the wall. Goodness, that didn't present much trouble, did it? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> not like last time. <laughs> Very fast wall solving from you. That's an immediate four points. What about the connections? Trojan horse, keylogger, virus, worm. They're all things you wouldn't like to have on your computer. That's it. The technical term is malware. <laughs> things that do harm to your computer. Keep Chris in a job. Yes. <laughs> Next one, Thunderbolt, Galileo, Beelzebub, Fandango. These are all uh, appear in Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. They crop up in the baffling lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody. Quite right. Submarine, torpedo, hoagie, poor boy. Types of uh, sandwich. That's or right. Sandwich roll, I think, actually. Yeah. American sandwiches. Yeah. I think the group says large American sandwiches, if that's not a tautology. Clockwise, Christ, neutrino, climax. They're all uh, anti something, anti clockwise, anti Christ, anti neutrino, anti climax. That's right, the anti neutrino sort of anti particle in physics. You can put anti before all of them. Well, you know what that means. Four points for the groups, four points for the connections, a bonus of two points for getting it all correct. It's a maximum of ten. Let's see how that leaves the scores as we go into the final round. The rights have got twelve points. The Alesmen are ahead with fourteen. And if you'd like to have a go at a connecting wall, then go to our website. The address is on the screen now and see what you can do with the groups and connections. Round four, then, is where it will all be decided. The missing vowels round. 
Now, this is where Ailesman, in the semi-final, you had been ahead all the way and you were just outgunned here by the radio addicts. Thank you for reminding us, yes. <laughs> Have you had any practice with buzzer strategy? Frankly, no. We just went out and got drunk instead. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I hope it started to wear off because <laughs> you don't want to be drunk for this round. This is where we take the vowels out of well-known names, phrases or sayings, squidge together the consonants and I ask the teams what are those hidden phrases. Fingers on buzzers then, teams. You will lose points for any incorrect answers or long hesitations. The first group are all regimental names and nicknames. Rights. Desert Rats. Correct. Rights. Green Howards. Correct. Ailesman. Black Watch. Correct. Rights. Gay Gordons. Correct. Next category, films featuring bizarre plants. Rights. Little Shop of Horrors. Correct. Ailesman. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Correct. Ailesman. The uh, Grey Yard Plant. I'm afraid not. You must lose a point. Possible bonus rights. The Angry... Um, Too long, I'm afraid. The Angry afraid. Red Plant. <laughs> no, it's the Angry Red Planet. Next clue. Ailesman. They have the triffids. Of course, correct. Next category. Their names use only straight lines. Rights. And Hathaway. Correct. Ailesman. William Whitelaw. I'm afraid that's not the answer. Possible bonus rights. Willie Whitelaw. Willie Whitelaw, there's no M. Next clue. Rights. Nanette Newman. Correct. Rights. Too long, I'm afraid you lose a point, Ailesman. Kenneth Tynan. Kenneth Tynan, correct. Next category, types of book. Rights. Almanac. Correct. Rights. Catalogue. Correct. Ailesman. Grimoire. Correct, a magic textbook. Rights. Annual. Correct. Next category, extinct mammals. Ailesman. Sabretooth tiger. Correct. Rights. Oryx. Correct. Ailesman. Quagga. Type of zebra, correct. Well, the last clue there was woolly mammoth, but it's the end of the quiz. Looking at the scores, the Ailesman have finished on 19 points, but winning with 22 points, it's the rights. So it's decided the most important ranking of all. Remember the great golfer Walter Hagen, who said no one remembers who came second. Had he been allowed to finish, he would have said all first. It's third and fourth that matter. So well done, everybody. You've all done extremely well. You're brilliant and all so highbrow. I expect you can probably watch Strindberg without laughing. Goodbye. And the Only Connect final is here on BBC4 next Monday at the slightly later time of 9 o'clock. Coming up next, we get under the skin of some of Scandinavia's greatest detectives with Time Shift. <laughs>